the following points I test, these are points I choose, and as a beginner you do not need to all test these points. So the first point I would like to test, I advance on the screen by pressing on my probe, there's a little button here, see, and it switches over, it will explain you what you test and what it stands for. And this is the hypothalamus point 20, which is a very valuable point to test because it will reflect a lot of body functions and gives me a good reference. The hypothalamus point 20 is located approximately a little less than an inch above the ear. You see where the lobe is attached here to the skin? Approximately half an inch. Now you see he wears glasses, so I have him remove his glasses. And you go with your hand and you feel there's a little indentation here. And you let the pa yeah, here I got it. And so now you let the patient know that this point is pressure sensitive. So you will tell him you feel a little pressure. If you don't tell him that and you just go to it, he may feel that, is, that it's painful and he will start complaining. But when you let him know you will feel some pressure, he's already said, and he said oh, it's okay, it will not be a big deal. So that helps, helps you. And because of the hair, and I definitely use some water. So I dig my probe in the water. And I dig my point in here, and nothing is happening. Oh, what's happening? Is the machine broken? Oh no, I see he holds his glasses in his hand and he forgot the hand electrode. And this will happen sometimes. Okay, now we good. We all set. We use some water. And I wiggle myself in there. And you see how this reading shot up? It's a nice steady reading. And we have an 83. It's a good reading. The hypothalamus point should be 80. How do I stabilize myself when I take a reading? You can cradle his head so that he cannot move and hold him. And that you, you yourself, you have to be always comfortable when you take a reading. That is very important. So I have, him, uh, I have this under control right now. And then I dig myself up. Here you go. I repeated the same reading. It has to be reproducible. Your readings have to be reproducible, of course, with slight variations. Very good, what we have, almost 83. See? Very good. I repeat the same process on the other side. Yeah, very good. I'm pleased with this. Now, the hypothalamus point is a very interesting point because I refer to it as the captain, the captain of the ship. So, if there's a problem in the hypothalamus and then you find all different other abnormal readings, it could be that the captain gives the wrong commands to the crew. So, if you try to fix later and do a therapy, but the major gland already gives the wrong signals. You may have a problem fixing this in the long run. So that's why that is a valuable point to establish in your first visit. Another important point is that both readings should be equal. In case one reading is off, say like it would test 70 or 65 and the other is 80, Double check it, maybe your reading wasn't right, but you double check it. If one side deviates from the other side to the point like of 10 or 20 points difference, that you have to take serious because there's a cranial problem. And what I do with patients like this, I will send them to a craniopath or somebody who has the knowledge to treat them because there might very well be um, a trauma, head trauma from a car accident or something out of the past. So that then can reflect to all the other organ systems in the body. So you look for an equal reading on both sides. Another thing is if you press and do everything right and the conductivity was 80 hand to hand and he has only a 70 or 65 but on both sides the same 
You find this mainly in chronic fatigue patients, low energy patients. If you see ex very high readings, like 1900 reading at the hypothalamus point, that could be due to over-medicated pres with prescription drug. It could be, there could be an infection in the teeth. And sometimes you even find people maybe who take recreational drugs, such as cocaine or something like this. You can see this too.